Well, Greensboro drivers will start to see these trucks on the roads responding to non emergency traffic issues like road closures and fender benders. When you see this vehicle out there, understand it is the same. It's a civilian traffic investigator. They're there to do the wreck investigations or to help the strain the motors or anything else that they can do. Greensboro Police Sergeant A.D. Reed says they respond to about 6,000 property damage calls a year, but now the civilian traffic investigators will be able to respond to them. You don't always need a police officer to sit behind a stranded motorist. If you have the lighting package and it's safe, it's okay for them to sit behind them, and that frees that officer up to take calls. There's four civilian traffic investigators currently and a fifth on the way. Nicole Crane Weir was chosen out of many that applied. It's very rewarding to be able to not only live in the city of Greensboro, but to also be able to aid your fellow civilians. She says it's an opportunity she didn't think she could have. I used to be a high school teacher and now I'm working side by side with a police force. Nicole and the others went through hours of training and have about 160 hours of field training to go before they are ready to respond alone. We want everybody to remember they are civilians. They're not law enforcement officers. They don't look like I do in a uniform. Um, they don't wear the same uniform. They don't drive the same vehicles. And so we want people to understand this is a way of us taking some civilian positions and using them to help the, the public. The four civilian traffic investigators have already started their field training with Greensboro police, and once they're done with that, they'll be on the Greensboro roads alone. In Greensboro, Maria DeBone, WXII 12 News.